Hello, everybody. Welcome to Live from the Tower, your weekly Destiny show. A little while ago, I made a video reminiscing on my journey through Destiny. And over the past month, I've gotten to experience the finale to that story I started nine years ago in House of Wolves. But something is different now. In that video, I discussed how I was never one to use meta loadouts. I'd much rather opt to use what I want rather than what was optimal. Prismatic made it so I could do both. In the campaign, you're given most of your kit for your subclass. And by the end of the campaign, you only have a couple of fragments and aspects left to go find in the open world. It became apparent relatively early on that Warlocks had a pretty broken kit. As I was playing through the campaign, I had heard and saw on TikTok that if you were to equip Getaway Artist plus Stasis Turrets and Devour, you could summon multiple turrets and an Arc Buddy that would consistently freeze enemies and heal you. So I decided to give it a try for myself. And I absolutely loved it. It became a quick power fantasy. Now, most times it always felt like a chore to use what everyone else said was meta. But for some reason, this time it was the opposite. It was fun. I was focused on getting my stats right so I could have a faster grenade uptime, matching my weapons, doing all the little intricate things that felt so boring just a few months ago. So with my loadout picked, I continued through the campaign to the finale. After the final mission, I sat on the final cutscene for about 10 minutes and teared up. This put Destiny on a very small list of games that have ever made me cry. The other three being Kingdom Hearts 3, Final Fantasy 15, and Final Fantasy 16. When all was said and done, I knew that I had to enter Salvation's Edge and finish the fight. I had raided in the past, and I've done so throughout Destiny 2, but over the recent years, I just haven't been able to do so as frequently. I knew it was going to be an uphill climb getting to the final confrontation, and I had been warned by a friend that this raid was where there was quote-unquote no ad clear. Everyone was going to have a part to play. Everyone was going to have to do a mechanic and it was going to be a backbreaker. This is when I knew something was going to have to change. I was tired of being the one getting carried. I was tired of feeling like the weakest link on the raid team. So I did something about it. I reached out to my clanmate and I asked for help. I told him my goals and what my ambitions were. In turn, he gave me advice and set me on my path. This was three weeks ago. In that time, I've practiced and just about perfected my build to suit my playstyle, minus a couple tweaks if I get some better drops. I've begun power grinding, and I've started to learn the raid. I'm starting to get better at the game, and all I want to do is to go beyond my limit. The final shape didn't just tell a great story, it made me want to be a better guardian. And that's why it's so disheartening to know that the first act of Echoes is already done. We know we're getting Echoes Act 2 on July 16th, but right now, this doesn't feel like anything more than a season. And Bungie had promised us that this was going to be more expansive, bigger, this wasn't going to be another season. You could play them independent. They didn't have to be tied together. I got one thing to say. I guarantee the deep lore in the episode is going to tie everything together. They're going to be connected. You can't have a huge finale like the final shape and then tell independent stories that don't relate to any of the world outside. I've basically glazed over what's been happening in Echoes because it's the same formula. You do your three-man activity, you go collect some materials, you go back to failsafe, you drop everything off, and then you wait for next week. Oh, and you listen to a radio conversation. That's all it's been. And the same thing we did in Wish, same thing we did in Witch, same thing we did in Deep, Defiant, and so on and so on, all the way back to Shadow Keep. And unless they're going to shadow drop weapons and armor, I don't know what they're going to do. I don't see them dropping all new armor sets. I don't see them dropping all new weapons. I mean, we can already see what we have in the season pass all the way up to rank 200. Now, unless they drop an entirely new suite of artifact mods, is everything going to change? I know they said there's going to be a developer insight right before this, the, the next act comes out. So we have that to look forward to, but I don't know. I just, I don't know how much more they could do. So this week was the finale and basically what you did was 
you went out, did your three-man activity, and Failsafe said, Oh, hi, Captain. I have a mission for you because Saint-14 is losing his mind. So what do you do? You go into the special mission, and you kill a Minotaur. That's basically it. Do you fight Saint-14? No. Does he get abducted? No. Ikora shows up, talks to him. He talks about something called the Conductor, I think. I don't, I don't remember the exact term of phrase. And then you go back to the helm. He talks to Osiris. And he's like, I need to be alone. And he disappears. We all know who the big bad's going to be. If you pay attention to any of the lore, you know it's probably going to be Maya Sundaresh. And if it's not, and they pull a quick 180 and make it an entirely new big bad, then I guess that's cool. I guess the problem is... The final shape made me get my hopes up because it was so good. And this isn't a case of Bungie over delivered, like what's his face put in the in the GDC document. No, the Bungie didn't over deliver. Bungie delivered. If the final shape was anything less than what it was, it would not have been good. God forbid, if it was anything like Lightfall, Destiny would be on life support. And I and I mean that wholeheartedly. Maybe Revenant's gonna be good. Maybe heresy's gonna be good. You see people on TikTok and on Twitter and on YouTube videos go, well, the first season in an expansion is always supposed is always the weakest. Yeah, but it wasn't supposed to be. Why are they calling it an episode if it's just a season with extra season pass ranks? What I'm trying to say is act two and act three need to bring something more to the table because so far this is just more of the same and it shouldn't be, but we'll see what happens. I know we have solstice coming up. People are already looking into the API finding out all the new stuff. I'm not. It's okay. Solstice hasn't been my favorite thing. That being said, Kvostov is getting nerfed in PvP. Now, I haven't looked at it. I didn't get a chance to use it while it was still pretty powerful, but I heard it was that and the healing turrets from Speaker's Masks. And that's what everyone's been using. I know Speaker's Mask is getting adjusted. I don't know to what extent, but if you want to know any of that information go to the twab where they have all the numbers for that this week we also got master salvation's edge along with the challenges so if you're going after the raid title now's your chance to start doing that we also got gms if so if you want to farm any of these great god rolls of any of the weapons you could start now if you want to guild your conqueror's title you can start now all that fun stuff the other thing everybody's pissed and upset about is Iron Banner being a two-week event. I understand why Bungie's doing it, because they don't want to split player base and they're trying to put an emphasis on PvP. I don't know if it'll do it. So far, all we know is we're getting uh, Criminal's Dagger with some new perks, and we're getting Claws of the Wolf, which is a Void Pulse Rifle. Uh, week one will be Control and week two will be tribute i have a feeling this is what it's going to be going forward is the first week will always be control and the second week will be one of those new experimental modes that they tested in lightfall but yeah now there's not much to do i was i was talking to somebody about this the other day this has been my problem with destiny for years is the drip feeding of content and you've definitely heard me say it here on the show. Instead of drip feeding content, make a big expansion. Have it all be out there. And people's arguments, whatever. Well, then the, the, the streamers and the, and the people that know Life to Game are gonna just they're just gonna beat it in like two weeks. Let them. Why does that affect you? Wouldn't you much rather be able to take your time and work through stuff and enjoy stuff rather than have to log in, play for 30 minutes, and then go, oh, okay, what am I going to do? What are you going to do? Ritual Pathfinder that everyone hates? They already had to adjust it because nobody wanted to play Crucible or Gambit. I don't get it. I, I just don't. Final Shape was so good. I really hope Echo's Act 2 is good. It needs to be on par with that campaign. I'm going to be 100% honest. And I don't think I'm asking for too much. I really don't. Don't come out here and peacock and tout that episodes are going to be this bigger. Like, don't give me a PR spiel. Because if episodes just turn out to be seasons, we all got PR played. That's the truth. Maybe Frontiers is going to be different. My opinion, and I mentioned it before, I believe, my opinion is Destiny 2 Frontiers is going to be another year of seasons or episodes. We're going to go to Tora Bottle. We're going to go to other planets. And that's going to lead to Destiny 3. 
Salvation's Edge, fantastic so far. I'm loving it. I'm enjoying playing the game. Minus Echoes. I want to get better. It's all been really fun. And I just hope it keeps being fun. If not, I'm going to be honest. I didn't buy the season, the, the, the annual edition. I mean, I probably will down the road, but now I don't have to rush. I'll do Echoes. And if there's going to be like a three-week gap between Echoes Act, the end of Echoes Act 3 and... What is it? Revenant Act 1? I'm just going to wait and just take a break, dip off and do my stuff, especially if I go and, and get all what I need to get done done. That's about it for this week. Thank you so much for listening and tuning in. And until next time, fly safe, Guardians. Guardians.